There is mixed reaction tonight to the sweeping tax overhaul plan approved early this morning by Senate Republicans. Good evening. I'm Katie Price. And I'm Ken McLeod. Glad you could join us on this Saturday night. The bill passed by the narrowest of margins with all Democrats and only one GOP senator voting against it. WBZ's Jim Smith has more on this now. He is live in the Satellite Center for us. Well, Ken, the president believes a rising tide will lift all boats, tax cuts for corporations and the rich, creating more jobs and higher pay. Many middle class people will also get a tax cut, but Democrats, they say the devil is in the details. The Tax Cuts and Jobs Act, as amended, is passed. It's probably impossible to pass a tax bill that satisfies everyone. That might account for the two vote margin. 51-49, not one Democrat voting yes. Maybe it was because of the late hour, but even Republicans took a somewhat muted victory lap. As you notice, at the end, there was not a single Democrat who thought this was a good idea. And so we're going to take this message to the American people also a year from now. We understand they have the votes to pass their bill, despite a process and a product that no one can be proud of and everyone should be ashamed of. The president begs to differ. We passed the largest tax cuts in the history of our country and many other things along with it. Tremendous tax reform. People are going to be very, very happy. Corporations and the wealthy do get some of the bigger breaks, and a BU economics professor believes that will trickle down to higher wages. But he worries that health care and education are left out of the equation. We're seeing in this bill limitation on property tax deductions and also the elimination of the ability to deduct state income taxes. Both of those uh, taxes are funding public education in Massachusetts, for example, and many other states around the country. So that's a major concern. Will this really decimate public education around the country? The health care concern is because the tax bill would basically gut Obamacare by virtually eliminating the requirement that all Americans carry insurance. Some say the plan will increase the deficit by more than a trillion dollars, but supporters insist that will be offset by growth. Live in the Satellite Center, Jim Smith, WBZ News.